Let's uh, change also to talk about security on the Las Vegas Strip. Earlier this month, there was a fight. There was a shooting outside the Palazzo. We've talked about Metro's efforts to step up enforcement on the Strip dating back to the summer. Is that enforcement level still in place, and where do things stand with regards to uh, enforcement there right now? Um, well, no, we've, we've pulled back a little bit. It was called persistent pressure, and it was done mostly through the summertime, and then we con continued it through the fall um, to deal with what was occurring on the Strip. And, and everybody's aware of what was occurring. We had a significant change in the demographics down on the Strip. Uh, people were causing, um, being unruly, releasing anxiety, dealing with uh, different issues out on the roadway versus inside the casinos. Um, seeing that, we adjusted our resources and pushed our resources to the best of our ability down there to address the problem. So we affected 1,200 uh, plus arrests. Uh, we recovered 571 guns, I believe it is. Um, then that was directed. That was a, a direct result of our proactivity of our police officers. What we expect them to do to gain control of a situation. Um, now, the situation down there is completely different than what we experienced earlier in the year or the previous year, and the crime numbers are bearing uh, fruit associated with that. So the numbers are positive, um, and what I mean by positive, it's, it, it's good in a good light uh, versus being actually positive of an increase in crime. Uh, so we anticipate we're going to do some uh, proactive uh, human trafficking efforts down there in the, in the next coming months. And and keep, I would say keep a posture of honoring at this point um, because it's just as important for us to do enforcement in the neighborhoods and make sure those resources aren't depleted in what we do on a daily basis. All right, Sheriff Lombardo, thanks again for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.